Hello everyone, this is my channel Tally Learning World. In today's video, we will discuss about how to use multi currency in Tally Prime. To create multiple currencies in Tally Prime, from Gateway of Tally, we will go to click on Masters. Under Masters, we are going to click on Create. So here we have an option called Currency. So once we click on Currency, you will be getting a message that Currency Rupakara it's already exists by default. Do you want it to create a currency or alter the new currency? If you wanted to alter the existing currency, you can click on A. If you want to create a currency, you can click on Create New. So as you can see here, the currency creation screen has been appeared. So I'll be going to press Shift 4 to use dollar symbol. And by using here formal name, by using helper that is Alt H, the list of currencies is been appearing. Note, ensure that if your system is connected with internet and you have a valid license, then only this list will be appearing. So I'll just select here US dollar. So once I select US dollar, the IS currency code also have come and I'll just enter the what representing after the decimal place as sent. I'll just try to accept the screen so that my company creation for currency it's been successfully created. Now I'll just go to gateway of tally by pressing escape. I'll go to alter. As you can see there is an option called rate of exchange. So once we click on rate of exchange, it's asking to provide the rate of exchange. So I'll just provide some rate of exchange over here. For example, there is something standard rate and buying and selling rate. So I'll just give your standard rate as example 70 rupees per dollar and my selling rate I'll give you 75 per dollar and buying rate I'll just give you 65 rupees per dollar and I'll accept so note ensure that the standard rate I have ticked the middle one and I'll accept the screen now let me create a transaction of purchase I'll go to the voucher I'll click on F9 that is purchase. I'll give the supply invoice number and I'll create a party with the name called US Credit Tar. Under Sundry Credit Tars, I'll change this country from India to United States of America and I'll change the state. I'll press Ctrl A. I'll just press Ctrl A. I'll create a purchase ledger under purchase account. I'll press Ctrl A. So I will be going to purchase some iPhone from US. So I have selected iPhone. I'll create unit of measure and I'll just accept. So I wanted to give some quantity, one quantity. So before entering the rate, ensure that you have entered a dollar symbol and enter the rate. So for example, I have entered dollar thousand. So you can see directly the amount it's coming. Your rate of exchange is picking as 65 as I have specified in the rate of exchange buying rate is. 65 rupees. So as you can see here, the amount is being automatically picked as for 65 key. I'll just accept the screen. The same way, 
if you wanted to do a sales you can record a sales transaction as well so to record a sales transaction you can just go to voucher sales select the party to whom you are going to sell and press control a so if you wanted to record a transaction of sales you can record a sales transaction as well by selecting the same item you can enter the read and dollar symbol before entering as you can see as i have specified the selling rate as 75 from there it's picking as 75 dollar per dollar i'll just try to accept the screen and as you can see the vouchers are being saved successfully so once we go to the gateway of tally balance sheet there is some unadjusted forex gain and loss it's been appearing so here the unadjusted forex gain and loss it's appearing that's because we have given the standard rate so if you wanted to adjust this you can make a payment and receipt transaction then later you can check over here if there is any unadjusted forex gain and loss then you can adjust if there is no unadjusted gain forex gain and loss you can just leave it as blank so i'll just show you how do we do adjusted this forex gain and loss in tally prime so we can go to the voucher i'll use general voucher by using f7 as you can see here we have an option called change mode by using control h have pressed and i'm selecting use for forex gain and loss adjustments so here i'll select here while create one ledger that is forex expenses ledger under indirect expenses or income so as of now i have selected under expenses and i'll try to accept this ledger i'll select the parties from whom i'm getting this unadjusted forex gain and loss its screen is appearing i'll try to select how many parties from whichever the parties the balance is appearing and i'll try to accept so as you can see now i have went to balance sheet so there is no unadjusted forex gain and loss it's been adjusted from balance sheet and it has been moved to profit and loss account under indirect expenses to check this reports we can go to either display accounts book we can select the ledger or whichever the party you have accounted the transaction you can select the transaction as you can see the transaction is being displayed in your indian rupees if you wanted to see in multi currency you can press control v and you can enable the option show forex transactions to yes and press control e now you can see the transaction is being displayed only in dollar currency for more videos subscribe to my channel tally learning world and press the bell icon for new updates and new videos